in our game classes, we start with existing games and we have our students tell us what the content is, what the decisions are, and what the fun is in the game. Then we say, now build your own game. And so then they come on paper and design a game, but they've never had the opportunity to build the game until we've gotten this engine. So now we're going to have, oh, it looks good. We're going to have her run through. And this is the physics engine, which tells you what it is that she can do. Now you'll notice. So the now they could do it on paper, come up with a plan, and, and then by the end of the semester, they might have a prototype where they could actually have some people play through their game and see whether or not they do really learn what they intended for them to learn. The vicious engine. Making games easier, faster, better. We haven't had the option of building our own testing environment. Uh, this engine allows us to create models uh, from a variety of different places, even buy models that are like model clip art, and put them into a, um, uh, this engine, which is a middleware engine, and then uh, be able to then create things that are specifically what we want to test. And we can standardize the testing with our particular software, whereas before we haven't been able to standardize anything. So every one of our researchers has pretty much had to start from a different point. So it was hard to compare what the results were from one researcher to what we get from another researcher. All right, I came straight down. Right now, we have one class that is going to be doing a lot of the very nuts and bolts building of the environment. That's going to be an undergraduate class in our 347 class. Then we're using these groups of students that are our researchers that are working on design. So they're going to be coming up with designs that this 347 class may build. So they have the programming skills at the lower levels and then uh, these instructional designers at the R695 level uh, will be developing research agendas on what types of things they'd like to test should happen within a serious game. Right now, serious games don't have a market. Come on! Faster! 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 Serious games where learning is the outcome um, are not something that's that kids would go to and buy off the shelf at EB Games or uh, GameStop or anything like that. So we're having to, at the same time, create uh, a market for the development of these games. And, I, and we have to have our instructional designers know how to build the games because a lot of our clients like the military and what the students want to have in their classrooms need to have a game type of virtual environment to learn from. Uh, that's what the students want. And so we've got to have our designers know how to build these games. So now we've got an opportunity. This is the world of the vicious engine.